The natural world is a beautiful place, with so many incredible animals to study. I started zoology because of my love for these animals, but after two years of reading textbooks, my love has unfortunately faded. So I've come here to South Africa to reignite my passion for wildlife in their natural habitat. I'm really hoping that studying the animals here will help me get that spark back. The first thing I learned is animals in a textbook are much easier to find than out in the wild. But after a good scan of the reserve, I spot a lone bull elephant. My ranger and I quickly head off to meet him down in the valley. Being so close to these gentle giants, it is clear how well adapted they are to the African bush. A trunk is a destructive tool used for foraging and feeding. Every aspect of the elephant is so much more interesting to observe in person than in the textbook. It's easy to forget just how big they are until you are on the ground with one walking towards you. My next encounter is with another of the large species here, the white rhino. Their horns, a prized adornment, are the cause of so many poaching events. Their eyesight is not the best, and with them struggling to distinguish a human and a tree at 200 metres, I have to watch my step. They have cup-shaped ears, which make up for their poor eyesight. I next find the king of the beasts, the African lion. Lions hunt as a group to take down a variety of prey. This giraffe has clearly fallen victim to their incredible hunting ability. Being so close to the lions, I can see their impressive strength and just how easily their teeth go through the prey. Like domestic cats, lions spend most of their day napping. What a life to lead. After seeing such amazing sights, I still feel like something is missing. I'm not yet finding that excitement that I once had, that sense of wonder. Putting my notebook down, it's time to put the science aside and step back to simply being with the animals in front of me. Spending time out of the classroom and back in nature, I once more feel the amazement and sense of fascination I had for the natural world. Where these animals once only existed as a picture for me, I now have these wonderful memories of my time with them in the African bush. With my love restored, I can now finish my studies. The sooner I finish, the sooner I can be back with the animals once again, discovering the answers to their hidden secrets. <coughs>